Hi there, let's continue with uh, another tool. In this case, we're gonna check the iRigger. So to access the iRigger, we go mGear, rigging, and we have the two new facial uh, tools here on, on at the end of the list, iRigger and Lift Rigger. Let's start with iRigger. Uh, okay, so here's the menu. Uh, they has uh, quite a lot of options. Uh, you don't need to use everything here. Um, and um, yeah, don't freak out yet. It's gonna be super simple to use. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to type is the, the prefix, in this case, the name of the elements. So it's gonna be I. And um, it's gonna detect for you if it's a left or right side uh, of course if you you have your L, your mesh on the uh center of the world if you modeling somewhere in the space i don't know but i think you should not do that anyway uh so we have the control extension and just in case you don't like the ctl that i'm using by default in m gear you can use uh, your own extension and then it's asking start asking you new stuff what is the eyeball okay the eyeball is here uh, important, you have to s uh, ha uh, both eyeballs like separated because it taking the bounding box to calculate some of the data. Uh, if you don't have it, a recommendation just create a temporal eyeball for for the rig and then uh, copy the skin into your uh, merge uh, or combine eyes. The edge loop, which edge loop? Because we have many. Okay, the, in this case, the edge loop is the one that defines the um, the border of the eye. So we need to come here and probably I'm just gonna take this one again uh, it's important that your eye model it's uh, equidistant with your eye itself I, I mean you, the eyelid so you have a nice structure if you have a loop that it's going here and it's closer to the eye but then here it moves outside the air something like that it's just uh, a bad model sorry to say it but you should keep more consistent your eye and Okay, so that's uh, all you need for setting the initial configuration. Then um, the um, we have some options that we go later on this and um, the custom eye corners because it's calculating where is your corner based on the distance. So the most inner side, it's going to be the inner corner. The most other side, it's going to be the other corner and in the right side, same thing. So if you have your model that have a weird corners or your let's say you, the, this extreme corner is not the most extreme one you need to set the uh, the uh, manual uh, corners by setting which vertex defines the, the corner and uh, yeah that remember me that it's expecting to have an edge loop here on the corner so if you have no edge loop then you have one to uh, the tool is going to be offset so as you can see it makes some assumptions on how it's model to to create the automatization so uh, I, I think it's pretty standard but maybe you find some some situations that is not so you, you probably gonna have to to deal with that anyway um so options we can set the uh, rig parent uh but it's um it's not mandatory, so I'm not gonna use it here. We can use the C-axis to Y calculation. So, what what what's that? So basically, it's the X-axis to calculate the Y, and this is nice for humans and the majority of the characters they have frontal eyes. But let's say I'm rigging a horse or something or fish, so probably you want to calculate in seat axis the Y. So. You, you you need to change this if it's depending of your model it's uh, and it's war, uh, world space then we have the controllers group and the deformers group i don't have any rig here but if i have a set for my deformers and my controllers i can pre preset it here so then when i build everything goes in the nice place especially if we're, we're working with shifter it's working very smoothly here and then we have one thing that uh i want to show you now that it's um we can set a head or a eye area joint and why okay because we we can um we can uh, create the uh, skinning also automatically so that's very interesting i think it's probably nicer if i show you with uh, an example so i just created a joint it's in the center nothing fancy for this example and just said this is the the head or uh, eye area depending on how is your rig maybe you don't have eye center i don't know you want to use the, the head itself 
and then we have the compute topological auto skin and we have rigid loops and follow loops so what's what's the difference okay so um just let me open quickly over here so i'm just gonna come whoops not this one okay so i have this so let's say i select this this loop the one that that is there and then it's gonna select two loops so it's gonna take the next one and the next one as a rigid so this it's gonna be 100 percent moving with the eye and then it's gonna take four loops here for the follow-up so it's gonna take like one two three four around here that is gonna scale uh, so this is if this is skinning one this is 75 50 and uh, 25 oh, dot 25 sorry and so on so it depending how is your model you need to configure this uh for this example i'm just gonna set it this to one and maybe this to three uh, pretty random honestly i didn't try too much uh before recording this so maybe we need to to go back and forward uh, but hopefully not so that's it for for this one just building so it's creating the topological and everything is there so you have your skin and this is connected there don't go crazy this is because our parent joint it's there so it needs to connect this thing but honestly we can just hide the joints for the moment and that's it that's it's it's done it's the rig is there this thing is blink blinking you have some controls there i'm gonna go over in a few seconds but first yeah let's tackle this what going on here okay it's crossing so that's because okay th this is rotating the eye so you can see here it's uh going down very nicely around the the sphere of the eye but obviously this is a linear um deformation so it goes linear how we can avoid this okay we can set our skin cluster to dual quaternion and boom this is solved so if uh, you have uh, like character that have uh, the body and the head in one piece maybe you want to use the uh, weighted blended or you want to keep uh, the rig of the eye separated from the rig of the uh, of the body or and so on so there is a uh, several ways to do this so you choose whatever is better for your project so now with the blink it's it's perfect and it's not crossing and um, yeah that's uh basically how how it's working uh i didn't prepare the uh the link for this but um this i rig it's uh, based on um i think it's called i'm sorry it's marcos giordano i think it's uh his name i'm sorry if i'm i'm doing wrong i, I think I'm, I'm gonna maybe do a little uh montage later on the video recording so you can see the the website and um yeah so it's basically the the rig that he explains on his tutorial and i just uh well i did some modifications and added some fun functionality but it's mainly the same of course the uh, uh automatization and the auto skinning is not in the tutorial it's just the the how it rigs with uh, several curves and wrapping the curves and so on okay so let's move forward for the options and what what can we do with this is i i'm just gonna hide for the moment the uh the a lash so it's not crossing so we have the options here on the big box and we have the blink one very self-explanatory we have the blink multiplier so in the case that for any reason doesn't cross perfectly you can force this and multiply a little bit so you can force this to go there and then you have the bling high that it's set by default here on the uh, um oh no it's not set here sorry oh yeah there bling high so it's 20 percent uh, you can put it 50 so where is blink in your your character and now uh yeah it's gonna blink from there and then we have the controls that you can pre preset this position and then use this to blink so doesn't matter wh which is your uh, eye 
like profile or uh, shape it's gonna uh, blink always so that's a nice thing uh, the other thing it's um, yeah the um, when it's close the eye obviously it's closed so it's affecting both directions depending of which proportion your eye is closed so if it's 20% uh, it's gonna be affected more by the lower so let's say I, I blink on the top one so this control because it's the lower one is not affecting and it's 100% affected when it's closed with the uh, top one because you're saying okay I want you to close on the twin uh, on the top one so if I put like default it's to point uh, uh, sorry uh, point two. now it's gonna be this is gonna affect like 2% and this is gonna affect like 80% of the movement other things that we have here very interesting okay I'm just gonna reset this is the we have on the upper control and the lower control these uh, two options that are not animable but you, you can set it that it's the eye tracking I'm just gonna put, put point 0.1 and here also point point one something like that so it's bigger so basically you have the eye tracking so by default so when you move your eye you can see it's moving a little bit and you can set for each eyelid uh, how much is moved in vertical and how mo much it move in horizontal so probably you want the the vertical of the top uh, eyelid to be slightly more uh, following the the movement so now you can see it has a very natural and nice feeling when you move the eyeball that's for free it's there automatic for you and yeah you can deactivate it if you don't want it okay more stuff um for the controls you have the boxes that can be rotate and scale or obviously can be move you have the uh, the circles that can be only move so it indeed it if you rotate or scale well if you do it un unlock it doesn't do anything because it's affecting only to one point so it doesn't make any sense to scale one point it's infinite it's small and um, the other one is the big one that can be uh, rotated so you can offset your your eyelid and you can scale it so you can force the the close scaling this thing or changing the eye like this or maybe you want to rotate the, the eyelid like that also if you pull it in and out it's closing like I don't know like a frog eye so it depends how you move it you can get different effects just play around with this and have fun um, okay so probably you noted here this video is getting a little longer but I want to point you something here and it's when I close I'm just gonna close to 0.5 so it's more visible issue okay so there you see that my eye when it's closed it's not like super nice it's straight it's it does a little like that and if I check carefully you see here let's see uh, okay so it's using this corner here and this corner here and that's wrong it should be should be the lower one should be this one let's check it out again so you can see here when I move is this one with the one static here is correct but here is wrong so this model it's not perfectly uh, as the um, default configuration that is expected by by the tool so we need to set our um, custom eye corner so I'm just gonna get rid of all the skinnings, so skin and unbind and I'm just gonna delete these two elements just gonna create again one join so we have same configuration here same edge loop and now I want to set my inner and outer corners and so remember to select the points that are in the edge loop that we have selected so if they are not in the same edge loop it's gonna fail so this is my external corner and I want this my internal corner so I want just to force this to this that's it it's all I need and I can build again it's gonna take a few seconds obviously depending how dense is your geometry it's gonna take more time so now 
you see now it's moving the object the control here so I think it's gonna work and now I'm just gonna blink just gonna put it and the whoops 0.5 now it's much much cleaner and yeah one more time just set this to dual quaternion so it's not crossing anymore and now our configuration is super clean awesome so that is what we need great let's do the right eye so just select here I'm just gonna select whoops just one select my edge loop same edge loop and uh, sometimes just uh, it's difficult to select it like take care with that because I, I sometimes I by mistake I select the other one and especially when it's much higher uh, dense um, topology it's easy to, to mistake sometimes okay so I have this I have there and then I want to set my inner side that it's this one and this is my other side that it's this one it recognizes it should recognize that it's left and right so it's not uh, gonna mistake and flip the things okay so that's it and the rest of the configuration is the same I'm just gonna build okay so we are done with that so now uh, because the, the skin was there already so we don't need to set it uh, the dual quaternion I'll just point, point 0.5 this thing okay so we have two eyes rig and ready to pass to animators great so there is something else that I want to, to talk here and it's the ability to export the configuration to JSON file so this is uh, something that you want to do when you're working in a in a big project where you use uh, universal topologies and you want to reuse your uh, your rig so even it's taking like a few seconds almost for for each rig uh, for each eye to rig probably you want to keep this as much automatic as possible so export configuration to json in this case is uh i right save it and you can reuse this configuration from the scripts uh, I'm not gonna go on this part on this uh, video uh, I'm advancing you that I'm gonna start a new uh, course to rig this full uh, this character completely and we will check this on on this uh, course so but yeah if you're curious about that you can check on the uh, on the source code of this uh, tool and there is a little snippet there they tell you how to use it but basically you just need to run a simple command pointing to the file and it will build for you and that's all for this uh, tool let's move forward to the mouth uh, reading tool thank you for listening see you in the next video bye bye